Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, it's the Hawaiian Shirt Papa. We're touring this and that store in Ingersoll. You have to watch for a sandwich board on the street to find the place. It's uh, tucked in, but it's not a small place. As you'll see, it's uh, got all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I, I just, we hadn't been here before. We tried to go by there before, but uh, pandemic had had it closed for a while so this time we were driving by and said hey we'll go for this what a surprise this place was <clears throat> to, uh, right here we're just at the entrance general entrance area and i'm trying to get my bearings even at that because uh these i didn't know what to expect here we are we're going down uh one of the aisles or starting to it is just jam-packed. This one seems to have all these small appliances, suitcases. Uh, looks like some sort of a stick. I might have checked it if it was a walking stick, but uh, I didn't, I guess. Here we are. We're, I'm trying to understand because this is... Get to this little hallway kind of entry. And it's really quite dark, so I end up turning on the light to see what's going on ah oh it's just paint cans it's kind of like their supply cupboard but it's not closed off from the rest of the store um <clears throat> i don't know kind of weird <clears throat> anyway here we are we're continuing a little over there is just so so much to look at everything is filled up everywhere is stacked deep front to back and all that uh, just just incredible the amount of stuff they've got here and uh, as you can see we get into some of the other stuff uh, there's a section that has some clothing in it I'll come back to that in a bit uh, I'm looking for the Hawaiian shirts to be honest but uh, they didn't seem to be in that aisle if I'm not going in that one, then I'm going to check out what the glass is because uh, Westwood Avenue is always looking for that particular kind of glass. These were just run-of-the-mill bowls. A whole box of them. So it might have been from a restaurant. Here we get to... Uh, I'm trying to get my bearings still because I really can't figure it out. So a whole pile of purses. Uh, nothing that really they caught my eye, but upon examination, either they had some uh, condition issues or they just weren't the the level of quality I was hoping to find. So not much was uh, obtained from that area. Looks really interesting, but upon closer examination, it wasn't what we're looking for. Now. There's a little change purse. Sadly, it had a little bit of a condition issue. But this little piggy one, and that came with us. I had to take another look at that little cat one. And we went to check to see others that were might have been deeper in there. No such luck. I didn't find anything more useful in this one. But... You don't know until you dig down, especially in one of these kind of places where you kind of find all kinds of things. Yeah, so I'm good enough. I'll put all the stuff back, more or less. And here we are into some more clothing. Um, I think these were women's. And 
shoes. And this is the other aisle, I think. Uh, not going in there yet. And more shoes. <clears throat> like I said, I was trying to get my bearings. Uh, these are the right kind? No, these are... These aren't... No, there's still no Hawaiian shirts here, though. But you gotta check. Sometimes they get folded in just enough that you can't see them from the edge. Um, no, no, no luck yet. There's a lot of clothes. They're tightly packed. And some just regular houseware glasses. Uh, here, I think I finally get into that aisle that I showed you at the early part because I got jeans hanging out there. Like that, and pants. And maybe some coats there. And here we are. I, I, I tell you, if you're feeling like you're all jumbled up, uh, so was I while I was in this store. Uh, just the way it's laid out. Clothing, and then you got hard goods and ceramics. And then we got games. Even some items for horses, for heaven's sake. That is not something I usually see. Things for horses. Well, these, this place has them. I think there are other pet goods there, too. Uh, oh, yes, the, there's a nice cribbage board. And after the cribbage board, we're looking at some other items that are here. Um, oh, that's, uh, I mean, you can't focus on any one thing. There's just so, so, so much. Some of our parts for some things. Uh, I saw this. I couldn't quite sort that out until I picked it up, I guess. I think it fits onto a pole of some sort. Oh, it's a fan. <clears throat> Possibly a filter goes in there. Who knows? And on we go. Oh, yes. This is either a battery acid tester or a, an antifreeze tester. Can't remember at this point. Uh, well, well aged. <laughs> Somebody's even, they've even got these furnace filters. They got this, those, those phone things don't really work too well for me. I have a, I got some from China a long time ago and they just don't hold their position or they're always wiggly and you're always complaining about that to yourself. And the toy section, uh, here's the toy section that uh, I'm taking a tour of. Um, I think some kids have obviously played here but I mean there's just so, so much. Then there's this collection of, I would call them ball bearings. If you were somebody who was making one of those, those uh, races for, the, with the two wires where the balls uh, do a variety of things, it'd be a great source for those balls because they're a good size. They're not too big, not too small. And here we are. This the facility, the, the toy, the area where the toys are, it's a couple of steps up from where I was earlier. And that area was a, a, a ramp down from the entrance. Uh, it's, on a, it's on a whole bunch of small different levels. And uh, it, it was obviously some sort of, I don't know if it's a restaurant or department store or something of that nature. But, hey, it helps them divide it up for the, the clients that come in. Yes, there are some skis here. Uh, 
I'm not sure if they're vintage or current or what. I don't do downhill skiing, but I did find a nice walking cane for a very reasonable price. That'll most likely show up at our booth and one of a kind. And sporting goods. And a bit of a Valentine's thing. I think it was left here on the shelf. There was a curious little item that I did find. I found it the two parts in different places. Anyway, here we are. We're about to go up these stairs to the another section. Unfortunately, that's about as far as this video will go is as we get near the top. There's another room that has appliances and larger furniture uh, down below to the left. And that's about it, folks. This is it. Please subscribe and we'll see you later.